So the first time I did this, since I'm only allowed 10 minutes, I actually went 12 in a fraction. So I'm going to try to compress things, which pretty much means the whole Al Franken thing is going to go by the wayside. Which means that I'm going to have my political rant uh, and not do terribly long. But what I'm going to talk about today is uh, the paint job and what I'm going to do with it, uh, or with this wall. Uh, the other walls have something to break them up. There's a window there, there's a window there. Uh, my grandfather's shadow box will go there. Something that will not crush the office computer will go there. Uh, a weird uh, vertical bookshelf will go there. And those will all stay black and whatnot. Uh, but uh, here and here, uh, people are always telling me things like turn north, and I don't know where north is. Um, and so what I'm going to do is use uh, my big star, and I'm going to put it up here, and this is a complete guess, by the way, uh, in case those of you who couldn't make it, I moved it over, um, which will be Polaris, which means from my uh, office desk chair, if I turn and look, I will be able to see north. I'll also draw, uh, also set up Ursa Major, such that the last two uh, stars which will probably be, I don't remember what their brightness is, but I think it's somewhere between uh, minus one and two. Uh, so they will mostly come from this size of star. Uh, and then the last uh, constellation, which will go over here, I, I actually thought about it for a while, because uh, I know Cassiopeia and I know uh, the Pleiades, but people are going to walk in and go, huh? because it just looks like a big cloud of things. And so what I'm going to do, uh, from fr uh, if you remember my Thursday uh, clear days when I would pull out and I would see Orion. And so what I'm going to do is over here, I'm going to put Orion in Orion's belt uh, using the brighter stars for the top and the bottom. And then uh, the little tiny stars for uh, specifically his sword, part of which will be his belt, although there's a big one in his belt. Uh, I don't know what its actual absolute magnitude is, uh, but it's, uh, it's bright. Uh, and then somewhere here in the middle, uh, oh, and I put it in another room so it wouldn't get dusty and I feel bad now. Pete, uh, as I've mentioned, Pete gave me a, uh, a signed a uh, pint-sized picture from uh, Jeff Jacques, uh, who does uh, questionable content. Uh, and uh, and pint-sized is an anthro PC. He's a, uh, he's a computer who has a movable form. He's about this tall. And there are a number of anthro PCs. Uh, Winslow is, a, is an iPod. Uh, there's just a bunch of them. Uh, so, uh, Pete got me this one because Pete's, my friend, we give each other presents. And Pete, you know, didn't give me a joke. And uh, the pint size uh, says, I think I killed somebody. Which really does make a lot of sense for an anthro PC. Uh, so anyway, uh, as quickly as possible and with, uh, with more thoughts in mind than I have right now, uh, this is the short version of what's going to happen to this wall. Oh, I found out that uh, that Michaels, which is the you know always seventy percent off shop, uh, has uh, glow in the dark embroidery floss. Uh, the the phrase embroidery floss uh, makes parts of my body clench shut, but that's okay. Uh, and. Uh, Apparently, I can actually wrap them together as well, just in case they don't show. But uh, if I can actually outline the, uh, the constellations, that would be awesome. They're all glow-in-the-dark. That's the color you see here. Uh, they're glow-in-the-dark. And so uh, I like to work with a computer and a single, uh, a single light source over, not next to the computer, but over what I'm reading. Uh, and then scripts and lap here will be in the other room uh, for me to uh, both transcribe uh, my handwriting 
and to see how good its OCR is. Uh, given the hieroglyphics that I write in, I don't expect much. Uh, but, uh, okay, so that covers uh, wall, constellation, constellation, art, probably another shot of art, not sure what. It won't be starry night. That stays above the, uh, the fireplace upstairs. Uh, but uh, I'm very excited, and uh, I hope to show you when it happens. It'll be by the end of the fall. I'm very much in uh, unemployment slash vacation mode. Uh, unemployment and then I'm getting things done. The upstairs now has a, uh, a pseudo desk and a way to walk all the way across the room. It's not empty, but it's much, much better. Uh, I will talk to you kids soon, uh, probably very soon, uh, possibly extremely soon. And in fact, uh, one of my kilts is chocolate covered, but uh, or chocolate colored, but that would in fact mean me standing on a stool and uh, parts of me being invisible, and let's not do that. So now we don't walk across the room, push the button, and hope we're under.